and it's a different set. That was brilliant, I love that. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm back with another music video reaction for you today. This time it is Be Natural by Red Velvet, and I guess this is a cover of an old SES track, so I'm definitely a fan of remakes and covers, and Red Velvet seems to be a really strong vocal group, so let's jump right in and check this out. That was very like extreme polar opposite of their debut song Happiness. It's just a completely different feel, a completely different maturity level, and a completely different style of song and singing. And on first watch, first listen, first impression, whatever you want to call it, I'm definitely liking this, but I'm getting some sort of uncomfortable feeling coming across and I'm not exactly sure why so hopefully I can sort out why I'm getting that awkward or slightly uncomfortable feeling from this and I'll try to touch on everything that sticks out to me musically too all right second listen here we go but before I start I just want to ask you guys to leave a comment down in the comment section 
Did you have that same sort of odd feeling that I'm getting when I first watched this, or did you like it right away? I'm just having a little bit of trouble wrapping my mind around what it is or why I feel that way, and I'm wondering if I'm the only one. So let me know what you guys thought on first listen, and let's analyze this. It starts out very sort of smoky. It's very close to them. It's not a very big room. Kind of an intimate setting. They're definitely going for like the really classy style or concept, which I like a lot. Um, all of them just look awesome in this music video. It's kind of a laid back R&B style song. Different kind of singing. You know, to fit the style. Very, very different from like happiness. Very overexposed vocals, there's nothing supporting them. Alright, there's the first one. I started off and this was good. It was not giving me any strange, awkward vibe until right there. Now, I think Red Velvet is one of the best vocal groups at debut out of any group that I can even remember, but something about the vocals here are just a little bit like shaky or unsure. I don't know, listen to this right here. It's just very like flat and one dimensional. I don't know. Also, is it just me or do they look uncomfortable doing the more sexy dance moves? I don't know. This is pretty good here, I like this. And then here, again. It's like the vocals just don't really have any emotion in them. Now, I do want to point out one thing, I'm gonna go back a little bit. They did an awesome edit right here, check this out. And it's a different set. That was brilliant, I love that. And again, they look really classy, really cool. These vocals there are a lot better. Fade to black and white, bring in Young. I'm becoming a fan of this kid so far. I think he's definitely a solid rapper. But again here, I don't know, is it just me, but it looks like they're a little uncomfortable doing these more mature, like, sexy dance moves. I just get that feeling like they're not quite confident doing that, like they're almost a little shy or a little scared. I don't know. It's not like a huge thing, it's just a little like subtle feeling I'm getting. And then here too, it's the same thing, it's like, I don't know. And then again, the vocals are very like flat and one dimensional. It's like they pulled all the tone and character out of their voices on purpose. I mean, it's one thing to sing quieter, but it's another thing to sort of, I guess I'd call it flattening out your vocal, where you're kind of suppressing any like emotion or character in it, and you're just kind of, you're not singing like monotone, you're still singing all the pitches, but you're just sort of taking out all of the mojo out of your voice. You're just kind of coldly holding notes out, you're not really putting any soul into it, that's what I feel like they did, like, instead of singing quietly, they kind of stripped all of the mojo out of their voices and just sort of sung it in a haunting, cold way. And then again here, it's just like, they look uncomfortable doing this dance routine a little bit, I think, to me. Here too, this is like, they do not look comfortable doing this dance routine.
And then again, the vocals are just kind of uninspiring. I don't know, this was a tough one for me because they did a great job covering the original song in the style of the original. So if you're going for being true to the original, I can understand exactly why they did everything that they did musically in this song because they did keep it very reined in, they didn't really show off their amazing vocals, and they were very, very true to the original. And this isn't really my favorite style of track, but that's okay. So I can totally understand where they're coming from musically, even though I thought it was a little bit boring or uninspiring vocally. You know, like they're just kind of pulling the mojo out of their voice and just singing it really sort of flat and coldly. But at the same time, that does not excuse how uncomfortable the music video looked to me. Now, the music video was shot extremely well. I like the style, I like the concept. I even like the dances, it's just that their execution of the dances I felt like was a little bit awkward, like maybe they weren't comfortable doing those more mature sexy dances. Now when Happiness came out, one of the main criticisms was that the concept and the dance were too immature and too childish for a group with this much singing horsepower, and I definitely agreed with that statement and I still do. But after watching this, I think I'm starting to understand why they went for a more immature and childish dance routine and concept for happiness. Because it's looking like the girls aren't quite comfortable or confident doing a very classy, mature, uh, sexy dance routine like this one. So the fact that the happiness concept was so playful, so immature sort of, that may very well have been by design because the alternative to that, which is this music video, didn't quite come off as 100% confident or 100% owning it. The vocal stuff I can deal with, that's a stylistic choice, that's not really a flaw. Um, they did sound a little bit shaky in places, but again, you know, the song's supposed to be very intimate, very vulnerable, so that's probably something they did on purpose as a stylistic element, but the music video concept itself and the dance routine, I just can't quite get over that. They did not look 100% comfortable with it to me. So let me know what you guys thought. Did you think they owned it or did you think they looked a little bit awkward? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my reaction slash review. Please like, comment, subscribe, share on Twitter, post the forums. All that stuff helps us out and I'll see you guys next time.